in this video we will create our own profile view style currently we have selected a profile view style let me demonstrate what i'm saying profile let me go to profile properties select a profile let me escape first can right click go to profile view properties there's a difference between profile properties and profile view properties okay so you can either select the grid and do not go to profile view profile properties if you want to change the profile view style you you should go to profile view properties here click on that and here at the information tab you'll see we are we ha we are we are seeing this profile view through the object style of profile view and in this session we want to create our own profile view style so what we'll do is we'll edit we'll copy current selection and then create our own all right we have a copy of profile view style profile view copy now this one will change this to a d1 profile view and then we'll start changing for the vertical exaggeration uh, we can change this to one is to 200 let me see what what was existing uh, let's let's increase the vertical exaggeration because of this width it's very small okay so we are exaggerating the the vertical height by 20 20 times uh, simply because we've selected one is to 50 vertical scale then we go to next we want to clip this and these grids we want to clip them to the highest profile remember the profile the profiles are these lines so this is the vertical grid the vertical grid are being clipped to the highest profile and also we we clip the horizontal grid again to the highest profile Padding, padding is a space uh, on the left. As you can see, there's a padding on the right and on the left. You can remove the padding by keying in zero. Axis offsets, they're all zero and we're okay with that. We go to the next, the title annotations. There are different titles um you can have titles at the bottom titles at the top axis titles axis titles on the left axis titles on the on the left on the right and on the top as you can see we have the parent alignment and then the profile Okay, this is the graph view title on the left, and then here is the axis title on the right. Okay. And the title, the graph view title, has the parent alignment and then the, the name profile. You can change this to whatever you want by changing this and typing uh, a name of your choice for this tab we, we won't change anything let's just go to the next tab for the next tab um horizontal axis the interval of the horizontal axis this is the horizontal axis is 20 meters so 0 20 40 that's okay and it's uh, situated at the bottom so that's okay we leave that at, at default 
For the vertical axis, as you can see this are the intervals, the major tick intervals are two meters apart. And the minor tick intervals are one meter. We can change this to one and this to 0 0.5. Okay. Also for the right, you can change it to the same one. 0.5. Now for the display, we, we only want to see the major grids, for example. So for the grids, let's go to the grids. The grid, we only want to see the major. So we, we also turn off the minor grids. My, my grid horizontal minor and the grid vertical minor. What else don't you want to see? Right axis annotation. That's okay. Left axis annotation. That's okay. Left axis graph title. Um, profile hatch. Top axis. Probably not. And once we are done with that, this is just a summary of the other tabs. We are okay, we apply that. Click on okay, we apply so that this changes to the new object style. And there you go, you have your new style. We've created a new profile view style.